Hi, this is Dr. Darwin, the new dentist coach, with another episode of Ask Dr. Darwin on the New Dentist Podcast Show, where you ask questions about getting into dental school, uh, also questions about dental school, surviving school, uh, uh, residency, how to get into residency, how to interview for residency, and then also about life as a dentist, first eight years after graduating. You send those questions to me right here at New Dentist Coach at gmail.com, and we'll get those answers for you. And also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page, channel, Dr. Darwin Speaks, as I will be posting videos. And Doc's putting his fingers up. You can't see. <laughs> He's putting his fingers up. Well, I post videos on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and even Saturdays. So I don't want you guys to miss those videos. A lot of information that's been helping not only new dentists, but all the international dentists all over the and over, and over the world. So today we're going to continue a series called Surviving Dental School. Surviving Dental School. And uh, Doc is shaking his head already because already, he survived it. He survived his D1 year at Meharry. Uh, I want to welcome to the show student, Dr. Mukadon. How you doing, Dave? Hey, Dr. Hayes. Thanks for having me. It's a hey. pleasure to be here. Yeah, man. So, you know, I've been waiting for this day for about a year now, man. Same here. It's been a long time coming. Long time coming. We've been going back and forth and communicating and sharing ideas and thoughts and networking and getting people in school, getting people information. So now we get a chance to talk to you about your experience this last year. So tell first, tell everybody about yourself a little bit more. Well, um, <clears throat> my name is David Mortabond. Uh, I am 32 years old, uh, married with a kid. Um, originally from Paris, France. I was born and raised there and came to the United States. I was 22 years old uh, and uh, pursued my undergrad career in Boston. Which school did you go to in Boston? I went to UMass Boston. Gotcha. I studied uh, Africana studies and um, English, English lit. Awesome, yeah, there's so many great schools in Boston, man. So many great schools. Absolutely. So, so why, why dentistry? Why, why did you pick dentistry? Sure. So I was first on a pre-med track. Um, so I took the MCAT, you know, was accepted to medical school. Now, back then I had three jobs. I was working at a gas station. I was, I was an Uber driver and I was working at Home Depot overnight while, while going to school. So um, one day, one day I met a guy from, uh, from Iran, you know, a regular customer at the gas station. Uh, and you know, he was driving a pretty nice car. And, uh, I said, you know, what do you do for work? And he says, well, you know, I'm a dentist. And, uh, I said, oh, that's, that's, that sounds like a great profession. But I said, you know, I'm headed to medical school. I had already, um, got my acceptance letter. And he tells me, you know, something tells me that you should come shadow me. Mm. So I said, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know about, you know, being in somebody's mouth all day. Um, that's probably not for me. <laughs> so he says, well, you know, you have nothing to lose, right? You know, come shadow me and then, and then you can, uh, you can judge the profession. So I said, okay, I have nothing to lose. So I went, uh, I was supposed to be there for one day and I ended up shadowing the doctor for three months, <laughs> 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 for three months. So, you know, his, his name is Dr. Madani. Uh, he's a general dentist. You know, I loved the, um, you know, his, his wife was working at the front desk. Um, his, his mother was working in the back, you know, with accounting. Um, his daughter was helping him while clean, you know, cleaning the office. So I love the family environment. You know, I grew up in a very, you know, family environment. So that was, uh, that was very appealing to me. Um, he also showed me some of his, um, you know, income, you know, revenue. And that was also very appealing. You know, the fact that he could, you know, support his family and do all that while working for himself. Wow. Um, Furthermore, you know, being able to merge science with arts, which is something that I love, uh, you know, I've been painting for a very long time. So um, all of that together, I said, you know, that, that's probably the better profession for me. So um, now I'm sure you know how expensive the application process is um, to medical school and dental school, graduate school in general. So I had already spent a lot of money for med school. So now I had to not only study for the DAT, take the DAT, and then apply to dental school. <laughs> uh, but I had no money left, right? 
Um, and, you know, I called my mom and said, David, you know, you, you got accepted to medical school. Are you crazy? You know, oh, you, is, you had already gotten accepted as well. Yes. Oh. Yes. You know, took the MCAT, done with that, spent about, you know, a lot of money applying to medical school and got in. So she says, David, are you sure? Now, my, my father's a pastor. So, you know, you know we, we really believe in, you know, praying and making the right decision. So, you know, we prayed. Uh, my wife and I prayed and, um, you know, we said, you know what? That, that dental school is probably the way to go. Mm. So now I'm thinking, okay, well, I can only apply to one school. So I need, I need God to show me exactly as to where I should go. So I study for the DAT. I do well. And now I'm like, okay. Um, one night I'm driving, you know, like I said, I was driving Uber. So I'm driving in Boston, in, uh, in Brooklyn to be more specific. And um, I picked up a man. Uh, African American men, and we start talking about, you know, medicine, and uh, we start talking about a book that I had recently read, um, titled "Black Men in White Coats." Mm, mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we talk about this book, and you know, he starts, you know, he turns around and he said, "Are you interested in medicine?" And I said, "Well, you know, I was actually going to medical school, uh, but now I'm thinking about dental school, and I'm waiting for God to tell me where I should apply because I can only apply to one school." And he tells me. Man, you are blessed. And I turn around and you know, what is he talking about? And he tells me, well, you know, my, my name is Dr. Percy Ballard, and I am a um, I'm a psychiatrist, you know, Harvard trained. And um, he tells me that his father is a faculty at Meher by the name of Dr. Um, Dr. Ballard, you know, Dr. Ray Ballard, um, MD DDS. So. He calls his dad on the spot and tells him, listen, I have this young man in the car and I believe that he belongs at Meharry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I can't believe it, right? You know, that has to be God. So, um, you know, the following week, you know, I'm actually walking around the halls of Meharry and seeing, you know, the black pioneers. And, and you know, after that, you know, the rest is history, right? <laughs> wow. That's an amazing story. I, you know, all this time, I, I never knew that you had uh, applied to and got into med school as you were doing your process. So, uh, <laughs> brother, that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. Right. So let's, let's talk about this process, this, this last year, um, being in, in dental school. What, what would you say has been the, what was the hardest part or the most challenging for you? Well, um, there are a few things that are challenging, I think, when, uh, when starting medical school in a different state. Um, one is, you know, new faces, you know, different personalities. Um, you know, with me being, I would say, a little bit older than the, than the crowd, you know, I'm not really the party type, you know, those days are gone for me. So um, I would say that was, that was definitely a challenge. Um, academically speaking, gross anatomy was brutal. <laughs> in fact, um, in fact, it became my uh, my first failure in um, in dental school, and so I had to remediate the course um, all the way in Nebraska. And I thank I thank God for Meharry because not many schools will give you the opportunity to remediate remediate the course and still stay on track with your with your class. You know, I will still be graduating in 2021. Um, you know, some schools will just ask you to repeat the whole year. Mm -hmm. So, so. Um, you know, went to Nebraska. It was six weeks, um, you know, and did well. So um, now I'm back now. I would say the best way to study for gross anatomy, I would say that you would have to study relationships. And, and what I mean by that is, for example, when you study, for example, when you want to know about the thoracic duct, you know, you want to make sure that you study it with a structure that's next to it. For example, you need to know that it is running behind and in between the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein. This is how you study gross anatomy. And I wish I, do, I would have known it before. So um, I would say, I would suggest for the, for the ones who are gonna you know, be studying gross anatomy uh, in medical school or dental school, because it's, it's really the same, study it with, you know, in, in regards to relationships. Gotcha, gotcha. What else was kind of challenging for you this first year? Uh, being away from my, from my wife and kid, mm. you know, they stayed, they stayed in Boston 
and uh, I was here alone. So that was that was tough. You know, they'll be they'll be joining me in August. Oh, but, great! Full time. <laughs> yes, full time. Yes. Oh, awesome! Awesome. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I would say because art was something that I already enjoyed, um, working with my hands wasn't too difficult, but I would say that it can become, it can be challenging for people right. who have never picked up, you know, use their hands. You know, I, I, you know, I used to like to work on cars and things like that. So I would say definitely start using your hands. Right. Um, right. Because it can become challenging. Okay. Um, okay. You know, anything, I've noticed, anything you would do differently? I know you mentioned, you know, studying, you would probably would have studied at least for your gross anatomy, studying in relation to what else would you know what you know now, what you would have done differently for the deal. You know, I would definitely find a study partner. I thought I could do it alone. <laughs> right. I couldn't, you know. Um, so find a study partner early, you know, someone who has di different um, study habits as you because you want to complement yourself with someone else, right? Um, because you know we all learn differently, um, so I would definitely say you know start start early, start studying early. Don't start till the last minute because you know although I did very well in undergrad, this only works in undergrad. You know you can't <laughs> study at the last minute in grad school. It's not going to work. Um, so it's like you know this big cake that you're trying to you, you can't eat it all at once. So every night you take one piece and you eat it every night. That's right. Um, so that's how I think is the best way to approach dental school. That's right. It's, it's the whole, whole old adage of how do you eat an elephant? Absolutely. <laughs> One bite at a time. One bite at a time. One bite that's right. At a time. Okay. Anything else you would do differently looking back and reflecting on this, this first year, and some of the challenges and some of the wins that you had? What, what, what would you do differently? Um, you know, other than the fact, you know, that I would start, you know, studying early, um, you know, find a study partner. Um, well, I think that's it. Okay. Well, that leads us to the, the point of some advice which you started to already share. What, what advice would you give those that are starting uh, their first year at dental school or, apply, get it, or getting ready to apply to dental school for maybe the class of uh, 2023? What, what advice would you give them or, or the, also the people of the class of 2022? So I just met a guy, actually. I just met a guy. Um, you know, he's from Nigeria, and he's going to, you know, he's a D1 at Meharry, and he's already doing the wrong things. You know, he's, he's, he's doing the same things that I did, which was um, not taking care of himself, right? Mm. Um, you know, make sure that you, yes, you know, studying is great, but you need to, you need to balance your life, right, you know? If, if you if you like basketball then don't give it up totally right you know you, you definitely won't be able to play every night <laughs> but you know three times a week you know um if you like to work out then work out um make sure that you stay in touch with the people that that got you there right your parents you know your pastor um you know because you, you're going to need those people throughout throughout dental school throughout especially throughout the first year yeah what, uh, what other advice? What, what about advice for those that are getting ready to apply to dental school? Any application advice? Sure, sure. So <clears throat> for the DAT, I would suggest, for biology, I would suggest the AP Bio book. It's a yellow book that has everything that you need uh, for the biology section. What is it called? AP Bio. Okay. AP Bio. For the... Uh, for the chemistries, so Gen Chem and Olga, uh, I would suggest buying a, a, a book called the DAT Destroyer. DAT Destroyer. Yeah. Um, for the PAT section, for the PAT section, perceptual ability, uh, I would suggest buying the DAT Bootcamp. It's a software, uh, and it basically has generators. So you, it's like basically it's like a video game, and you can play it every night, and you can pick the section that that you know you you're very weak at mm. so if it's you know pattern folding that can, you can focus on that particular section you don't have to do you know angle rankings you know you can focus on pattern folding master it and um and, and work on your on your weaknesses not your strength because you know as, as students we have the tendency to 
shy away from my weaknesses. But the reality is you want to work on your weaknesses and not your strengths. So if you're already getting, you know, 22s, 23s in bio, then focus on organic chemistry if you're getting 16s, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I would say five to six weeks is enough, you know, to study for, um, for the DAT. Um, and then, you know, just practice steps. You know, I did practice tests every day until I was getting the, uh, the scores that I wanted. And um, that's pretty much, you know, what I got in, a, in the real thing. Which, now, which practice test? Were there tests that came from, like, maybe a Kaplan or came Yes, it, it came with, um, with the DAT Bootcamp, that software. Okay. Not only does it have um, single sections for the PAT, but it also has full-length practice tests. Right. So I don't remember how much it cost. Okay, but I, that but, was my but, next question. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can tell. Um, I would say 160 at most, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's it's well worth it because that 160 investment is could get you 160 thousand of, uh, of, of, <laughs> of loans paid in scholarships because you had a great DAT store. School. Absolutely. In fact, in fact, to tell you the truth, when I saw um, the organic chemistry score, I said I I thought it wasn't my I thought it wasn't mine. Uh, and, and the lady says, well, no, you, is your name David? And I said, yes, it is. And he said, well, it's yours. So I would definitely, uh, invest in a DAT destroyer. Now it's named that it's named, it's named destroyer for a reason. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is very difficult. So don't, don't be discouraged when you, when you see that, you know, you're missing, you know, 60% of the questions, you know, keep working at it. Don't be discouraged. Um, and your score will improve. Wow. So, do, do you mind sharing your, your, your chem score with that DAT destroyer? Yes, I got a 23 in Olga. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, there you go. It, destroy, it, it basically destroys all the, low, all the low scores and gets you a high score. So, it's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's awesome, man. Well, hey, thanks so much for sharing um, – you know, advice and things you do differently and your, your story about being a med, uh, almost a med student, got, getting into med school and then switching up, changing and going into dentistry. Um, you know, that's that story about some of the hardest things for you to, uh, to kind of make transitions as far as your first year of dental school, all of that, leaving, you know, being away from your, your family and everything. Um, it's been an amazing year for you. And I'm sure you're going to have another amazing year and another story to tell us when we talk again uh, in Absolutely. five days about the D2 year too. Absolutely. And, and I have no regrets. You know, I, I really love dental school. I love Meharry. Uh, you know, it definitely um, does something when you see that uh, your professors actually look like you. Um, it, it does something to a, to a black man. So um, definitely you apply to Meharry. <laughs> You know, if you're out there, uh, you won't regret it. That's right. Um, yeah. That's great, man. Well, hey, thank, thank you so much for carving out some time in your schedule. Uh, looking forward to you being reunited with your family in a couple weeks. And yeah. start, start, start quick on that D2 year, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> start quick. So, again, thanks so much for joining us. And, uh, and for, for those of you that are listening, if – you have comments or you have uh, things that you liked about what doc, uh, student Dr. Motoban shared, write a comment down below. We'd love to hear your feedback. We want to know how things uh, come across and, and how it's been helping you. Also, if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching with your personal statement, CV, uh, some other tips about which DAT exam, uh, prep exam to take, send them right here. New Dennis Coach at gmail.com. New Dennis Coach at gmail.com and put in the subject line, coach me. All right, Doc, thank you so much. We'll be in Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. Yes, man. And we'll we'll keep uh, keep in contact over this D2 year and I hope to see you soon down in uh, in Meharry. Thank you, Dr. Hayes. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Take care. Take care. All right.